out with paddle shifters, uh, a lot like the, the European cars that you know, have the paddle shifters. Uh, the Camaro, for instance, has what they call a tab shift. And um, it's basically just a button on the back of the steering wheel. And what we um, do is have a bolt-on kit where you can have a full paddle, like a European-style race car. You have different paddle designs that are interchangeable. Is there anything you have to do uh, other than what you see here? You have to no. take it down. To there's the no wiring. Um, there's no. It's purely mechanical. Two bolts that go on. Um, you're, you're not tapping into anything that's not currently um, on your car. So it's just a simple install, uh, low cost piece, and uh, makes shifting so that your hands are up with ten and two shifts. You want to hold them down here. You have the full range of, of motion. Instead of having just little buttons on the back. And is this good for automatics and uh, manual? This is only for the automatic. With the, yeah. So V6 and V8 both have the, the automatic like this, tap shift uh, on the Camaro. On the Chrysler side, we have a uh, you know, Dodge um, for the Challenger, um, for the Magnum, the Chargers. Um, it's a little bit more complex in that, uh, that we have a full paddle system. And it integrates with the, the auto stick that's on that car. So be able to you know, upshift through, through the gears, downshift with, with the paddles. Um, so this, the, this is up and down as well? Or? This is up on this side, this is down on this side. Just got a full range of motion if you yeah, tap um, it any which way or go right. up. Instead of shifting down at your stick, your hands on the wheel, you have to drive and shift.